you know, you get to see like people like struggling to like stay alive. You, you see some people that actually lose their lives and it's hard. It hits you really hard because you're like, What's up you guys, the Don, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I wanted to do the kind of like this check in with you all, talk to you guys about how things have been going on my job and just kind of give you a little bit of insight onto how I've been doing uh, in coronavirus times and in the world, I guess you could say. So that's what this video is gonna be about. I am officially out of my three months. I've been on my job for 90 days now. And obviously, you know, like after 90 days, that's when you get like your 90 day review and they talk about like how you're doing and things that you may need to improve on and things that you're doing really good on. And they also just kind of give you like prayer reviews and give you an update on like what the things are going to be happening in the future so it was actually like pretty interesting uh, these past 90 days I have been like scared some days like walking in understanding that yes I am going to be seeing people whose lives are essentially in my hands obviously I have help um, my surgeons are there the other physicians and PAs and stuff are there to help out but you're the decision maker so that is always like scary honestly and I feel like if you are not a little bit nervous or a little bit scared of the situation that you're in I think that, you know, you're like, you something's not right because I think that you should have like a, a little bit of healthy fear, I guess you can say, because that keeps you on your toes. That keeps you wanting to learn more and wanting to garner more information. So with me, I have been like a little scared here and there at times, but you know, you get into it and you do it. So that's been pretty cool and pretty interesting. Um, this week specifically, but you know, just in the, the months slash weeks, <clears throat> excuse me, slash weeks coming up, leading up to the end of this 90 days, uh, has been pretty trying at times and interesting because you know, you're dealing with trauma situations. Yes, I was doing a lot of general surgery and towards the end, we've started to do a little bit more trauma shifts. Uh, the new PAs uh, that was hired on with me. So uh, it's been pretty interesting because you're seeing people in these really vulnerable and like tough situations, lots of obvious motor vehicle accidents and motorcycle accidents, which tend to be like the worst. Um, and then work, you know, related accidents and falls. So those are mainly the things that we kind of deal with, obviously like gunshots and stab wounds and things like that. But um, the main things that are consistently coming in are those other ones. And, you know, you get to see like people like struggling to like stay alive. You, you see some people that actually lose their lives and it's hard. It hits you really hard because you're like, man, like, at any moment like this could be done you know like i could be driving down the street and someone hits me or i could be walking down the street which happens a lot we have a lot of pedestrian struck and someone hits me and like keeps it moving and you know i'm there on the street like waiting for someone to come help me and so i have been just so much more like happy to have my family like hug them and see them you know on the days that i'm not at work because honestly you guys like it is tough seeing those situations happen but on a happier note like i am getting the hang of things you know I am learning how what it what it means to actually write you know like a trauma note versus a gen surge note um, or vascular note because we do cover vascular surgery as well um, and thoracic so doing those various different notes kind of getting my bearings with that um, you know learning the different procedures the skilled procedures like chest tubes and pigtails and quittens and all of those different lines that you have to put in those various different central lines so things like that it's actually been pretty cool just kind of learning and seeing and doing Obviously, I want to be able to do more, but then that means that there are more people in very traumatic, bad situations that need these things. So um, it's kind of like a give and take um, with respect to the learning situation and what you want to do. But I'll, ultimately, I am like enjoying the time that I'm having here learning because I'm seeing and I'm learning a lot. And that is one thing that I can absolutely appreciate. 
obviously, you know, like there are certain fields that I wanted to go into or things that I wanted to um, want to do in the future, uh, like in women's health and things like that. But I feel like all of this information and experience that I'm getting right now will be like priceless. Um, you know, if I do want to like pick up f extra shifts here and there in various different fields, because I'm going to know a lot. And so I'm excited about that. Obviously there's still a lot that I still need to learn. Um, a lot of the various different procedures that they do, you know, when someone comes in and, you know, the different like types of suturing that they're doing, um, what the, what, why choose this anastomosis versus that, or, you know, double layer or leaving it open or not leaving the patient open or not, or closing the fascia, like understanding why I want to do those various different things. Although I'm not the one doing it, obviously the surgeon's doing it, but why would they want to do that? So if you, because again, you are the physician assistant, right? And so you want to help make their lives a lot easier. So obviously if you know a little bit more, that helps as well. Um, you don't have to call on them for, as much and then you kind of get into this tandem where you know exactly what they need so it's actually pretty cool i'm excited about it i'm excited about the future again only three months in which actually it's only three months in but that's a long time 90 days is a long time to be on a job um, and that time just kind of flew by honestly so it's it's crazy that i am already what, like a fourth of the way, a quarter of the way done with like being an actual practicing PA for a year. So I'm gonna slow down, let me slow down because I, I wanna take my time and enjoy this, but uh, it's been quite a process. I hope you guys have been staying safe and doing well. Obviously coronavirus has been interesting working with patients and things like that in the hospital, but now we're actually like our hospital has actually like kind of cut down a lot on the coronavirus cases that we have. I remember when the whole ICU was full and then we had to move, like make other ICU beds um, for COVID beds. But now like it's really dwindled down, which is a blessing and it's amazing. Um, so even though you know, we're seeing all of these cases spiking and things like that. Um, in the hospital system itself, where we're at, like it's it's gotten a little bit better. Uh, there are still lots of cases, um, but people are not necessarily getting as sick as they were before. Because again, we've had like, what, four or five months of this thing, right? So you were learning. So that's a good sign as well. So it's interesting. We are allowing patients to have at least one visitor with them now, which is amazing. Again, it's so helpful for the patients when there is a visitor so that they can be happy and help in their healing. Um, so that's really good. And um, for me and, and my colleagues that are new, we're just kind of, you know, kind of fitting in a little bit more in terms of how we come in and we do our jobs and, you know, we're getting to know the staff and all of that stuff. So it's been quite interesting. I'm really excited to continue to share with you guys, like, you know, my journey throughout this whole process, three months in and your girl is getting a little bit more comfortable, still have that healthy fear, but I'm excited. Um, if you guys have any questions for me specifically uh, regarding my job or anything like that, please leave it in the comment section below. I tell you guys this all the time. I get a lot of like inspiration for the videos and that are related to PA school and like the PA life in general from your comments. So please comment, comment, comment. That really helps my algorithm out and it helps the channel out because it gives you guys more content. And also follow me on Instagram at it on the PA. I really wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.